Hi, Captain Dan here in Chinese Harbor on the east end of Santa Cruz. Uh, we're tucked in here, uh, staying out of the way of a, a moderate Santa Ana that's blown about 20 knots out of the east. Uh, this is one of the best places to hide from a Santa Ana. This and Potato Harbor are our favorites. Uh, if you come in here any other time, this is a lee shore when the wind is predominantly out of the west. But on a Santa Ana or just a heavy easterly or even in, in calm conditions, this is a great place to be. We're going to take a look around the area and I'll point out the landmarks uh, with using Google Maps, Google Earth, and uh, the NOAA charts here in a minute. Well, that was kind of an abrupt transition, but we're in the studio now uh, doing a voiceover. Uh, the top right hand corner there is Cavern Point. We're going to go uh, south from there, past Potato Harbor, along the coast, and into China Harbor slash China Bay. Uh, this is the best place to hide from a Santa Ana, and you'll see why. Those are some big mountains. Traveling down the coast here on the NOAA chart, you can see that if you stay at the 15 fathom curve, you'll be about a half mile off the beach and well clear of any obstructions. This is Cavern Point where our trip begins. I'd have my camera ready. It's uh, always a magnificent day down here, even in the fog. Uh, you'll also see hikers uh, coming along there along the uh, Circle Trail. And if you get a chance to get ashore after the Santa Ana, I recommend you go there. The next real obvious landmark uh, is Potato Harbor. And if there's a Santa Ana blowing, there will probably be someone in there already, just as there was this day. Uh, Potato Harbor is good in a Santa Ana. However, uh, if the wind shifts, which it, it usually does rather dramatically after the Santa Ana comes out of the west, it's sometimes difficult to get out of here. It's a narrow passageway, and uh, you're in here on two hooks as a general rule, which means that getting underway is a little bit tricky. We're going to get the film rolling again here and take a look at the, the rest of the coast on into Chinese Harbor. That's Kocha Point on the left and the entrance to China Bay, Chinese Harbor. We expect it to be alone out here, but apparently everybody knows the secret of Chinese Harbor. There are four other boats with us, and uh, if you'll pan over there and take a look at them, right through that. We're anchored in about uh, 40 feet of water, uh, just off the shelf in, uh, in sand. And we've got, uh, we motored it up to about 2,000 RPM in reverse to make sure we weren't going anywhere. Anchored at 40 feet, we were well out of the turbulence. The day we were in there, there was a swell out of the west, even though the wind was out of the east. The other boats were anchored in quite a bit closer, and you could tell from the turquoise color of the water that uh, they were in pretty shallow water. Now, we picked our spot right between the two canyons, easy to identify, and our anchor dropped right in the middle of where it says Chinese Harbor. Well, this is our view out the front window once we got uh, anchored and everything uh, put away. Kayaks underwater, our, our clients are out paddling around, and uh, we're just tidying up. Uh, there's some things to think about uh, before you give it up for the night, and one of them is, what's the wind going to do? If the wind shifts, which is predicted to do tonight, uh, we'd have to get out because this would become a lee shore. Uh, but we've got, uh, we're far enough away from the beach so that it's not uh, an imminent problem. We would have some time to get underway and get out. Well, if you've got any questions about sailing the Channel Islands, uh, take a look at our website, sailchannelislands.com. Uh, you'll also have my, my phone number and my email address there. I'm always happy to talk about sailing. By the way, if we did have to bail out of Chinese Harbor, we'd head over here. And this is uh, Prisoner's Harbor. It's uh, due west at about four and a half miles. It's an easy place to get into, even at night, uh, if you got radar uh, and GPS. Without that, it'd be a little spooky unless you had a full moon. Well, we're going to take you out of here with some of the pretty pictures we shot and a little tune from uh, Dennis Dreeth Band.